Hey guys, what's up? This is my breakdown for the Scream 6 official trailer. So the trailer for the sequel to, or the sixth installment of the Scream franchise came out. Um, Paramount have been teasing it on Twitter for the past few days. And they also released a poster along with this trailer. And yeah, the trailer is out. I watched it and I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna talk about all the stuff that's in it and I'm gonna talk about my general excitement for this movie. So I'm like a pretty big fan of the Scream franchi franchise. I only, I like I watched all the movies like um, last year or something. So I'm not like an, like an original fan, you know, like it was like middle of last year or something that I watched all the movies because I was getting ready for Scream 5, which was coming out. And I was like, you know what, this seems pretty cool. You know, I've never really got in, into the Scream franchise. So I might as well just watch the movies. And I watched them and I really, really enjoyed all of them, except for number four. I did not, I was not a big fan of Scream 4. I know a lot of people actually really love that movie. It's kind of like a cult classic at this point. But um, yeah, I was not the biggest fan of it. It's my least favorite Scream movie. Um, I love, I loved the first one. I liked the second one and I thought the third one was okay. I, I feel like it gets a little bit too much hate, but I don't like the fourth one really much at all. And I really, I really enjoyed the fifth one, you know, the one they just did last year. I thought it was really good. Not as good as the original, but I think it was still really good and it, I was pretty happily surprised by it. So that's good. Because usually remakes, you know, they, well not usually, but you know, they can go horribly wrong, but yeah. So I've been very excited for the Scream 6, for Scream 6, because it was basically announced as soon as Scream 5 came out. And I'm pretty sure it did pretty well in, um, in, uh, I'm pretty sure it made a decent amount of money, you know, like for, for what it is. So that's, that's good. I, I'll have to fact check that, but I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure, I'm, based on memory, I'm pretty sure it did pretty good. So yeah, um, I've been naturally very excited for this movie. Um, they've added some pretty cool cast members to it. They added Samara Weaving, who I fucking, I love Samara Weaving. She's so good in the Babysitter movies and in Ready or Not. She's great. Um, and even Guns of Kimbo, which I didn't really like that movie that much, but I think she's pretty good in it. It's with Daniel Rad Radcliffe. It's a few years old now. But yeah, so I think she's great. So I was very excited when she got added. And Kirby from the Scream 4. I'm not the biggest fan of Kirby like everyone else is. I know everyone loves her. I don't really have much of an opinion on her, you know, to be honest. Like, I don't, I don't really, get, I don't dislike her, but I'm not really you know, crazy about it, like a lot of people are, so yeah, um, but they added her to this, to Scream 6, um, we know that ma many of the characters are returning, like, um, uh, Tara is returning, Janet, played by Janet Ortega, she's returning, and her sister, played by Melissa Barrera, oh, that's her name, right, yeah, I'm pretty sure, um, her character's name is Sam, you know, so she was sort of the main character of, um, the last Scream movie, it wasn't so much Sydney, and Sydney's not going to be in this movie, which, um, is actually really fucking disappointing, so that's the one thing that's really going against this movie for me, and is making it hard to be excited for it, but Samara Weaving, with the addition of Samara Weaving, I think, you know, I can get over it, because there's something else I can be really excited about, because I, I love that actress, but yeah, um, with Nev Campbell not coming back, that's a bit of, that's, like, a bummer, but anyway, and also, you know, Dewey won't be coming back because, spoilers, he died in the last movie. So there's only one member of the original trio who are coming back, and that is Courtney Cox as Gail Weathers, which I like her very much. So I'm, I'm excited for her as well. Um, but yeah, Sydney sort of took a back step, back seat in the last movie. She wasn't really in it much, and the main character was basically Sam. But it, it was still, you know, Sydney-centric, you know? Not centric, but she was still a big part of it. But she is not going to be in this movie. Um... I can see, this movie is set in New York, so I can see how they're going to, um, I can see how they're going to, you know, weave it into the story that she's not in this one, but, um, yeah, so, there's not much, there's not really much to break down from the trailer, other than just talking about the possibilities of what could be, what could be happening in this movie, it's just, it's a pretty basic trailer, you know, they're in the, they're in the subway, and then it's like Halloween or something, I think, and there's, I think a few people dressed as Scream by the looks of it like there's shots of one sitting down and then one sitting up I don't know if it's the same guy or not but yeah and then he attacks um, Mindy played by oh god who plays her I forget um Jasmine something I can't remember oh god I know her first name's Jasmine I saw her in something else she's in yellow jackets god um anyway the character's name is Mindy and we see her get like attacked on the subway and um Tara and Sam are also in the subway and also uh Chad that's it that was his name um, from Scream 5, he was, oh, what was her name as well, I'm forgetting their names, I've got a list here of their names, but I can't remember, um, anyway, she was, it was the girl with the pink hair from the last one who, she died, it was her boyfriend, he's in this, he's in the trailer, and we also see Josh Segara, who is, if you don't know him, he was in She-Hulk, he played, um, 
Pug, what was his name? Jesus Christ, do I not remember these people's names? He was in She-Hulk, okay? You, you, if you know the actor, you know who he is in She-Hulk. He's also in Arrow, season five of Arrow. Um, but yeah, so he's in this. I don't know. I didn't even know he was going to be in this. I don't know if that was announced. He wasn't in Scream 5. No, he wasn't. So I don't know. He he could be playing the... He could be the killer, to be honest, because he's played characters, you know, characters similar to that in Arrow, like a serial killer, you know? So we'll see how that goes. I, I don't think it will be him, though. Maybe. I don't know. There's always two, remember, because I was going to be like, okay, he's on the bus or he's on the subway, but there's always two killers, so that's immediately takes it out. Although we did see two of them. Oh, yeah. It doesn't make sense because he's on the bus and we see two of the, you know, the killers. Ghostface, that's what they're called. Um, yeah, I think Samara Weaving has like a pretty big uh, uh, possibility of being Ghostface because one of them. Because she, I don't, she, the roles that she typically takes, you know, the babysitter movies, she was a, you know, like a psychotic babysitter. And then in Ready or Not, she was, you know, wasn't so much of a psycho, but, you know, was killing all these people and at a, like, a satanic wedding. So, um, I feel like she, based on the, her previous roles, she could be doing something of that, you know, uh, style in this movie. She could be one of the ghost faces. I don't know. I don't think ghost face is going to be anyone we already know. Like, I don't think it's going to be um, Chad from the last movie. I don't think it's going to be Tara or Sam or anyone like that or Mindy. Obviously, not Mindy, she gets attacked. But, um, yeah, so I have no clue who Ghostface could, Ghostface could be. My only guess would be Samara Weaving's character, who we don't know who it is because she's not in this trailer. Um, it won't be Kirby. I know Kirby's coming back for this movie. I, she won't. I don't think it's going to be her. That's, 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 I don't think, I don't think they should make legacy characters Ghostface, like, ever. Because, or unless, you know, unless it's, but not, okay, Kirby is a legacy character because she's very, you know, po popular at this point. I don't think they should ever make Gale Ghostface or Sydney or, I mean, Dewey's dead, but, you know, any any one of the originals a Ghostface. I think it needs to be someone new who's introduced in the movie who you can guess, you know? Because, yeah. It would be stupid if we get into the movie with all these new characters introduced and then it ends up being Gale or something. Like, that's, that's very stupid. But, yeah, I'm excited for this movie. It comes out in March, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see Samara. I'm really excited to see Jenna Ortega, who's really just popped off with, you know, she's had X this year. She had um, Wednesday, obviously, which I thought was pretty good. And it's it's like the second most popular uh, English language show on Netflix, only behind Stranger Things. It surpassed Dharma. So now it's the second most popular um, show on Netflix, English show. So yeah, I feel Jenna Ortega is definitely going to bring some, uh, some seats to this movie, you know, a lot of people are going to see this movie because of General Taker, but also because it's a screen movie, obviously, but yeah, I thought the trailer was cool, I'm excited for this movie, I don't know who Ghostface is going to be, but yeah, I'm excited to see these characters come back, let me know your thoughts on the trailer down below, let me know your thoughts on this video, and if you like this video, please like and subscribe, go check out my other videos, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one, bye.